Taurus, you are up for the May money energy reading. I'm switching my thing to do not disturb for those wondering why what I'm doing on the camera. <laughs> so yeah. Um, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. As for the reading, take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading energy and tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Okay, so cards are pre-pulled. Title, Command the Mountain to be Moved. Because I'm doing the Oracle cards and the tarot cards. The energy coming out with the Oracle cards was obstacles and blocks are lifted. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. And then the other Oracle card was vi visualize abundance in all forms. So this is about manifesting. And the cards that clarified definitely um, shows that everything was in sync. Let me read this. And bear I need my light again. One second. Got to get my other phone because I got to get the light. Okay, here we go. So it says, all of your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. So this is obstacles and blocks are lifted. Here. And I'm using the Angels of Abundance Oracle deck for those of you who are wondering. Now, the card that clarified this was the Five of Cups, which is water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some of you could have that in your chart or you could be dealing with someone who has it in their chart. So with this, this is letting me know there was a time where you were concentrating on the past and you may even still be in that energy a little bit. I feel if you are, depending on when you're watching this, there may be a shift, especially for a lot of people, because there's a lunar eclipse happening on May the 5th. And that eclipse is a full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is about transformation, changes, death, things ending and new things beginning. So I feel for some of you, you might get that reset then if you're not already in this energy where you're just like, you know what? I'm not even going to focus on these three cups that are spilled. I'm going to focus on the two cups that I have and I'm going to move forward is what I will do. So I, I don't see you staying in that energy long if you are in that energy. Now, going to visualize abundance in all forms, and I, I will read this as well. It says, God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. So obviously focusing on the good and not the bad, but it's saying visualize abundance in all forms. So visualize it in everything. Everything connected to your life. See yourself as being abundant. Now, the card clarifying this, which is a perfect card for this, is the magician. That is manifesting. That is visualizing. The magician has everything that they need to make something happen. And, and this is Gemini and Virgo energy because this is Mercury. Some of you, you may have felt like th there's been a slowdown. It might be because Mercury's in retrograde. Don't worry, Mercury will go direct at the end of May. Because technically, retrograde ends on the 15th, but there's still a 7 to 10 day post-retrograde. So by May 25th, everything should be evening out for everyone. And it's going to be like, oh, okay, it's all good now. So yeah, but the magician is clarifying the visualizing abundance in all forms, which is just another confirmation that, hey, you need to manifest. You need to believe in order for it to happen. Now, the cards that came out as well clarifying things, we have the hangman, which is Pisces energy. And this is about, it can be about sacrifice, obviously, um, being, feeling stuck or staying in a suspended state. It can also be about enlightenment, seeing things from a different perspective. The card that followed is the Queen of Cups, specifically Cancer energy. This is about being very intuitive. And also showing compassion to others. 
The Queen of Cups is the most intuitive queen out of all of the queens in the tarot deck. Now, third card that follow is the High Priestess. More Pisces energy. This is also about intuition and secrets is what this can be about. It can also be about hidden knowledge as well. All of three of these cards are intuitive cards. And let me hold these up right quick. So yeah, all three of these cards are intuitive cards. And what this is saying is that you need to lean into your intuition more. If, so, if you're hearing a little voice in your head saying, hey, you probably want to do this or, or whatever, as long as it's not going to be anything that hurts anyone, then you may want to listen. You may want to listen. It's called discernment. It's sometimes where when you're driving, something says go one, one direction instead of another direction. Is what it is. But yeah, discernment, leaning into your intuition and trusting your intuition, because especially with this full moon in Scorpio, people will receive some downloads with information and you don't want to discard that information. You want to take advantage of it and use it. Bottom of the deck is seven of Pentacles. This is Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, seven of Pentacles. And this is about waiting. This is also about sowing seeds. This is also preparing for a harvest. Some of you have been patiently waiting. That's the title of this one. I'm using my Monopoly tarot deck. Waiting Patiently Avenue. Some of you have, have been waiting patiently and you're like, okay, when is it going to happen? What's under waiting patiently? And look at that. And I didn't even know what was under here. Something just told me to check it. So yeah, the star right under waiting patiently. There's someone's wish will come true. With the star energy. Also, this is Aquarius energy. This can also be about healing. It can also be about direction. Some of you, with this full moon that is happening, it doesn't have to be the full moon. It's just that the full moon makes it more likely that the, this type of stuff will happen. Where you receive downloads, you receive information, you discover new things. Because don't forget, it, full moons and Mercury retrogrades are when people find things out. And it can be finding things out like, oh, I didn't know that you could cut the grass this way. Whatever. Or it could be finding something out where somebody was keeping a secret from you or you were keeping a secret from somebody and then it just comes out. So it, it's one of those things It is what it is. So that's why I always tell people, if you have secrets, don't be surprised if they come out around Mercury retrograde or a full moon. So we're going to have a full moon in Mercury retrograde. Yeah, something's going to come out. But also this is about healing too. So the opportunity to heal stuff in your finances, in, in your 3D life that traces back to your finances, tr traces back to your money, your home, those things, there is an opportunity to heal. It's just the point of you waiting for it to come in. But a wish is coming true. You just have to have faith. You also have to trust yourself. That might be the issue as well, where sometimes you are hearing that voice, but you don't trust it. So, yeah. All right. That is your message, Taurus. That's all I have for you. You will get a birthday bonus, and I'll get that up shortly as well. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Until next time, Taurus, be blessed.